you treat people, man. See, there's certain people that God don't play about. You play about how you treat people, man. There's a story in the Bible that says, touch not mine, knowing that you do my prophets no harm, man. You don't let what God got on the sign. And if God put them on the sign, that there's nothing you can do. You can't come with your hate. You can't come with your negativity. You can't come with your bad words. None of that. Nothing you're going to try to do to harm them or stop them from fulfilling what God got for them is going to prosper. That's what that scripture means. No weapons formed against them shall prosper, and every tongue that accuses them in judgment shall be condemned. See, a lot of y'all be putting your mouth on people that don't even realize this is God's anointing. That's why the moment you say something bad, the moment you try to come against them, all hell breaks loose in your life. Be careful how you treat people. Be careful how you treat people, man. See, there's certain people that God don't play about. Be careful how you treat people, man. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, touch not mine, knowing that they do my prophets no harm, man. You don't know who God got on the side. And if God put them on the side, that there's nothing you can do. You can't come with your hate. You can't come with your negativity. You can't come with your bad words. None of that. Nothing you're going to try to do to harm them or stop them from fulfilling what God got for them is going to prosper. That's what that scripture means. No weapons formed against them shall prosper. And every time that accuses them in judgment shall be condemned. See, a lot of y'all be putting y'all mouth on people that don't even realize this is God's anointing. That's why the moment you say something bad, the moment you try to come against them, all hell breaks in your life. Okay. Hello. Okay, you got to be careful when you sitting up here speaking on God's people. Okay, coming up again, some picking, spicily doing stuff. Come on now. It's already bad enough to do it to anybody. But doing it to God's chosen and still ain't taking heed, that's the issue. And thank God that God got a lot of angels, okay? A lot of spirit guys, okay? That is with the shits. God is tired so tired of his people suffering okay he is tired of it and god loves us to the point he only letting people get so far before he tapped that ass okay but hey everybody we're about to give a meat and potatoes i have just pulled out some cards okay as um that played okay and we're gonna keep it going okay but the cards that did come out, okay, it looked like your spirit guides are with you, okay. Your spirit guide, well, God, your spirit guides, they want you to sit up here and follow your intuition, okay. Trust your intuition, okay. Never, ever doubt it, okay. They want you to strengthen your intuition, okay. Because God is making sure that he sends you guidance downloads okay different things that he needs you to know and he needs you to sit up here and trust your intuition right now okay god is telepathically sitting up here sending you messages and downloads okay and it's gonna be a lot of significant things that god wants you to sit up here and know okay that he's gonna be delivering to you okay and your guides okay your angels spirit guides Everybody got your back right now, Divine Film. You are so covered. You are so loved. You are so appreciated that ain't no harm, danger, nor evil is coming towards you, okay? You have already, like I said, been getting downloads, information, okay? And God is making sure that he shines the light on everything, keep you safe, but make sure that he's keeping you informed, okay? And telepathically, he is doing so, okay? And what he is letting you know, Divine Feminine, is that the victory is I mean, it is here, okay? You could be a Pisces, but the victory is here. And it will be coming towards you. It looked like it's something significant about the winter, okay? And it looked like around winter time, you will have the victory. You will sit up here and have a new soulmate, a new love in your life, okay? This person, okay, loves themselves just like you love yourself. And great people are about to sit up here and cross paths, okay? It looks like when you meet Nunu, okay, you're going to be in your own little world, loving you, okay? It looks like you're going to be, you know, embracing good energy, okay? And um, you about to meet somebody really special, somebody that's going to have the same traditional 
you know, um, upbringing, vibes that you have. You guys are just going to connect in just the way that you haven't connected in a while. You know what I mean? And um, it looked like your hero is going to sit up here and come in. Slow and steady always wins the race. Okay. It looked like you being celibate, you working on yourself, you just growing each and every day, loving God, loving yourself, and God wants to sit up here and let you cross paths with that hero, okay? He might even come in on a horse, okay? But your hero, okay? Your love, okay? Your um king, okay? Your emperor, okay? He is on his way, and he is going to recognize when he's in the presence of an empress right away. The victory is yours. So many people have been trying to keep you from winning, but God said, no worries, okay? You're going to be able to sit back and laugh and look on the shit, okay, that you have went through, and you're going to sit be able to laugh at the shit real soon because you're going to end up having the victory. And it looks like it's going to happen when you least expect the divine family, okay? Y'all gonna cross paths. A good man finna cross your path. Just like you a good woman. High level soulmate is on this way. And it will be here before the winter time. It will be here before the winter time. God is gonna make sure he steer you guys in the right direction. How you guys is gonna cross paths. Okay. God already sitting up here sending you the messages telepathically, okay, on what the blessing and what blessing is going to come in towards you. It looks like you can feel love in the air. You can feel a blessing on this way, and it more definitely is. And God go make sure that um, he lets you and this person cross paths, and the angels is going to be helping as well, okay? Mm-hmm. This person is going to be hope, very hopelessly devoted towards you. He ain't going to have eyes for you. Going to light up, okay, when he see you, okay. He could be, you know, a beige caramel skin. He could have a tan, okay, like the beach, like sunsets, okay, yeah. But uh, it looks like your masculine is feeling, well, I don't know what, let me see. Feeling conflicted and confused. Your masculine over there feeling conflicted and confused. Not knowing which way to go. Even though the relationship that he is in is unrequited. He's still very much confused. Okay. And the reason why he's confused. Because he's still over there using drugs. Okay. Not in the right mind. Okay. And study not seeing his worth. Okay. Rather have you know, a dysfunctional, toxic relationship than to be alone, okay? And that's his choice. Everybody can have what they want. They got to just be able to live with the choices that they make, okay? Divine family, you can sit up here and be from the country, okay? Or this person could be from the country. He could have a ranch. He can be grown up in a ranch, okay? Or he can live somewhere where it's a lot of grass, okay? Or you can be from the country. He could be from the country. Who knows, Divine Family? But all I know, okay, is that there's something significant about what I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I know. Well, for it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your mask would say he had a clouded intuition, okay? He had a clouded in what's that? Yeah, he had a clouded intuition. He could have had magic done on his crown chakra. He couldn't have not been in his right mind so that he can see things clearly. Okay, due to all the magic that he been sitting up here, you know, um having done on him, okay? Mm-hmm. Be aware, okay, of counterfeit as fucking masculines trying to come in, trying to date you, but trying to catfish you. But you already gonna know, okay? Or your masculine very upset that he catfished you and he didn't treat you right, okay? Or he could feel super catfished, okay, by this fucking karmic, okay? He could feel very catfished, okay, due to him being stuck in an unquieted situation. 
Only thing that they got in common is that they like to party, they like to use drugs, they like to be wild. These are two people that don't like rules, that like to be wild, that likes to sit up here and use drugs to not be in their right mind or with reality. What else? Okay. Yeah, whoever this karmic is, here go this bitch again, okay? Just like the last message that I just did, okay? And this bitch is trying to team up, link up with anybody, everybody that don't like you, she want to be friends with, okay? She want to come together with these people to gossip, okay? Because she's very determined, on getting whatever information that she's looking for. She wants you looking bad, and she feels as though if she gossips enough, okay, that this bitch will sit up here and make this masculine I want you in some type of way. You know this bitch just always got cat mouth. You know, a bitch that got cat mouth is a bitch that always loves to talk about people. This bitch don't even have no... She got a water bottle next to her. She ain't got nothing to drink, no water bottle or nothing, but this bitch is over there having deep conversations with people, okay? Trying to get whatever information, cotton mouth like a motherfucker, okay? Because this bitch mouth runs and runs and runs and runs and runs, okay? That's all this bitch consists of talking about is you, okay? Is you, okay? And yeah, she sit up here talking about you to her fake-ass friends. Or she could be sitting up here being fake-ass friends with somebody else that don't like you, okay? You already know how enemies get down when they don't like you. They link up, like I'm trying to tell you. They might not even even fuck with each other. But they one thing they got in common is that they don't like you, Divine Feminine, okay? And it's two people that you don't get along with that are trying to fake, like... like that's trying to fake like they friends in order to get information on you, okay? To make you look bad in some type of way, okay? And they've been sitting up here just talking and talking about you, girl. You know, this ain't got nothing better to do, okay? She just gave them... It's a damn shame when... Your masculine bitch won't clout off of you. It's already bad enough. Your masculine don't want to clout and get the most, okay? But why is she so pressed when it comes to you, okay? Your masculine has so much ma magic done on his ass to his ass don't even look the same, okay? You look him in his eyes, he look like a fucking demon right now, okay? Just out of it, okay? Just soulless, okay? Just... <sighs> He could even be possessed right now on sitting up here dealing with this bitch, okay? And especially all the magic that this bitch has done on his ass. Your masculine is not who your ass last remember his ass to fucking be. He's not. He's not divine family. Look at them eyes, girl, okay? Your masculine is uh, married. The karmic could have did a mat, did a spell on this man to get him to marry her, okay? While he was getting married, he could not have been in his right mind due to all the magic that this bitch put on him in order for him to be attached to her in the marriage, okay? This masculine over there married to the karmic, but yet he's still holding on to you, holding on to you real tight. Any type of energy, any type of anything that he can hold on to concerning you, he is doing so, Divine Feminine, okay? This masculine is very, very uh, much unavailable to the karmic, okay? He there, but he ain't there, okay? He didn't check all the way out because he over there just possessed, okay? Like, he just possessed, okay? Yep. Yep, it looked like this karmic sat up here and wanted you dead, okay? She was trying to sit up here and get you murked in some type of way. She was doing spell work. All type of shit. And she feels as though you supposed to be gone, Divine Feminine, okay? All the magic, all the setup shit that her ass has did to sit up here and come up against you. She gonna wish that her motherfucking ass didn't, okay? Everything that the bitch put out, she gonna get it back and some, okay? 
she wanted you dead out the picture, okay? She came for you, okay? I hope your masculine, okay, wasn't possessed, okay, with the devil, with entities, and wanted you dead because you didn't want to sit up here and deal with him anymore, okay? Was he that much emotionally unavailable till he wanted to hurt you in that type of way, okay? Mad because you wasn't holding on no more. Mad that you know about the marriage. Know that you know everything that he that been going through and some, okay? This masculine been over there. His brain just fried upside down, okay? It's like fucking scrambled eggs and fucking grits up there, okay? Half done oatmeal, okay? Divine Femme, you could be seeing a lot of fucking um, angel numbers right now. Okay, yeah, you've been seeing a lot of angel numbers. This bitch is currently doing fucking spell work yet again. This bitch is the most hard headed bitch you will ever meet. She can have a big ass head, okay? Because this bitch is hard headed. She studied doing spell work on you, okay? Even though she fucking married to the man committed to his ass, okay? She's doing spell work on you because she know that this masculine refuses to let you go. She's doing spell work on that masculine and she's doing spell work on you. And anybody that don't agree with her ass, this bitch doing spell work on, okay? Mm-hmm. Divine Feminine, all you continue to do is grow. All you continue to do is win, okay? And she feels some type of way about it, okay? Whoever this karmic is, choose, she is used to sitting up here choosing unavailable men. She loved dealing with fucked up ass men because her ass is fucked up, okay? And she loved choosing somebody that's willing to choose her, okay? Your masculine is emotionally unavailable, okay? And here go her fucking funky back ass, okay, one to sit up here and choose him to make him feel as though, you know, she was going to be different, okay, this masculine sat up here and gave this bitch everything he was supposed to give to you, a clean slate, okay, he wanted to take, okay, with this bitch, okay, for real, even though he know that you was his destiny, even though he know he was supposed to be with you, he still chose to sit up there and give her, okay, what he's supposed to give to you, it says we have had many past lives together, and he said he remember you, okay, or you finna come together, I think you finna come together with that high level soulmate, that new new, okay, and it look like when y'all come across some each other, y'all souls is gonna remember each other, okay, y'all gonna remember each other, it says you have made me into a better man, your masculine feels as though coming in contact with you made him become a better man, it says I know you still want me, but you keep hiding the way you feel, okay, your masculine feels as though you hiding the way that you feel, he feels as though you still love him just like he loves you. Your masculine trying to sit up here and come back in, okay, to stop you from sitting up here going off to be happy. He'll be damned if you go be happy, okay? He'll be damned, okay, if he lets you go, okay? And it looked like he could be on demon time, okay, because he don't want to sit up here and see you in a relationship with nobody, okay? Mm-hmm. Divine Femme, you feel as though your masculine is heartless. You feel as though everything he did, it was just extreme, overwhelming, okay? Your masculine, he is watching you. You feel as though he's a narcissist. You feel as though he just mad. He don't want to let you go because he ain't going to find nobody that's going to love him the way that he's supposed to. And you narcissist supply, you know what I mean? He don't want to let go, okay? Yep. Your masculine wants to sit up here and tell you that he's sorry. He's sorry for sitting up here choosing some street cat, okay, over you, okay, even though he know he had a soul connection with you. Your masculine realizes that he needs some help, that he do dumb shit, that he let the devil lead him, okay, instead of letting God, okay. He recognizes that he fucked over you and you was his twin flame, okay? He could have did that for with a fire sign, okay? 
Your mascot can constantly be going round and round on the same ass fucking cycle, okay? And it look like he can be sitting up here depressed. It look like he could need some medication. He could not be taking his medication, but he needs some help, okay, to get over this depression that he is going through, okay? All your mascot want to sit up here and do is surrender. All he want to sit up here and do is stop letting the devil control him. Mm-hmm. Your masculine was in his ego. Listen to a lot of people be in his head, in his ear, okay? And um, he did a lot of shit he had no business doing. He could be um, finna get arrested, has been arrested, or they tried to get you arrested, Divine Feminine. And it looked like it had something to do with finances, money in some type of way, okay? Yeah. It looked like your masculine wants to come in to explain something that he did against you in some type of way. He wants you to sit up here and see a new perspective, okay, on why he did what he did, okay? He feels as though if he comes in to tell you that he's over dealing with this karmic, okay? The masculine and the karmic is stalking and watching, police watching, everybody watching, okay? All them games, okay, that the masculine thought that never was being seen, it was being seen under investigation. It is tapes, okay? Karmic can't be over shit, okay? It look like it's just not getting started, okay, due to being watched in some type of way. Look like your masculine wants to sit up here and apologize to you. Get on his knees to apologize to you. Because he did some fucking shameful shit that his ass feels bad about. And he know once you hear this shocking information, you're going to look at him in a different way. You're going to be super over it when you sit up here and find out everything that your masculine did. It look like you're going to see things in a new perspective. You're going to sit up here and see that your masculine like to play harsh, hardcore, hurtful games, okay? And it looked like whatever's going to come out that your masculine did against you to you behind the scenes is going to be some shit that make you feel some type of way. And you like, he feel ashamed. It looked like the truth is about to come out, okay? Mm-hmm. And it looked like it's going to end up sitting up here hurting, Okay. You're going to have the blues. You might even cry when this information come out to find for me. But guess what? Your mask was under judgment. Everybody that tried to come up against you for no reason, spitefully, just to fuck with you, they under judgment. They are, okay? Mm -hmm. And they under judgment from sitting up here going to go get that witch bitch to do fucking spell work on you, too. Their spell work and shit didn't do nothing but bound them to their own fucking magic and spells, okay? Whoever the masculine is, he st his problem is he can't get unstuck from the past. He studies stuck in the past. No matter how much his ass do, he, he, can't, he has a standstill. He's stuck in life due to something that happened to him in the past, okay? That keeps having him binded stuck okay and that's the devil okay and it has something to do with this karmic doing spell work on this masculine and others okay this masculine realizes that the grass was fake over there or dealing with this karmic okay the karmic is sitting up here feeling extra withdrawn okay Yep, and your masculine said he don't trust the karmic, but he's codependent on the karmic. He don't want to sit up here and be alone. As he's so used to the karmic and her toxic ass ways, okay, that he doesn't feel as though why leave, okay? That's how he's been thinking about everything. But your masculine realizing that he needs to close the cycle on this karmic. He's realizing that this karmic ain't doing nothing but keeping him blocked, held down, okay? Study on the same cycle, going nowhere, okay? Your masculine could be feeling super isolated right now, okay? Trying to get these entities and demons up out of his ass because he's looking over at a hot mess, okay? He could look smoked out, chiseled. He could look ashy, okay? He says, I just don't want... I just don't know what I want. He said some days he know what he wants and some days he don't. 
He stay battling his own damn self. And that's due to all the magic and spells that this bitch been sitting up here putting on his fucking ass, okay? This bitch been paying for people to do spell work on him, and her ass has been doing it too. Because she wants to be Divine Feminine. She want Divine Feminine spot. She done went and bought a crown, and she feels as though she can, okay? Mm-hmm. Yep, mm-hmm. This karmic hates the fact that this masculine's head over heels for you. She hates the fact that no matter what, all the lies and all the magic and everything that she did to make him hate you, come up against you, he's still in love with you, okay? But see, Divine Femme, you feel as though your masculine is forbidden fruit. That's something that you ain't supposed to touch, okay? You feel as though divine timing will happen for you. You trust God and his timing. You're not on your own timing, okay? You realize that you have a sole purpose here on earth, and you want a partner that's going to sit up here and ride out with you with for God, okay? I don't know why people want you sitting up here feeling broken hearted, you know, hurt, okay? But God said, no worries. Love is on the horizon. Everything that you done been through, it wasn't it wasn't in vain. It wasn't in vain, divine feminine. You finna have somebody that's super, super loyal to you. Okay? Super, super loyal. And this person could have recently sat up here and got a divorce, okay, that's coming towards you, okay? Yep. Whoever this karmic is, her ass is feeling extra hopeless right now. Because she realizes is that her ass is always going to be the other woman. She realizing that she always going to be second choice. She's realizing that, okay? And she's realizing that your masculine is very, very much in love with you. She know that he's very, very much in love with you. This bitch is even trying to sit up here and study, okay? On how she can be like you, okay? Watching, studying, looking real hard too, okay? This bitch up here studying, okay? The other woman, okay? Trying to learn from you, okay? Mad that this masculine still in love with you, okay? Mm-hmm. Your masculine wants to sit up here and bring you some flowers and charm, okay? Your panties off. It look like he want to ask you to get away with him so he can charm you. You know, uh, charm your panties off, divine feminine, okay? Your masculine is also realizing that he has some jealous-ass friends. These people don't give a fuck about him. He realizing that these people just didn't want him to be happy. And they was willing to go through so much hate, so much slander to make him look at you differently. He to see these group of men and people that he ran with as no good. Mm-hmm. Everything has been illuminated to this masculine. He's seeing everything clearly, okay? And one thing this karmic hates, she hates when the masculine gets to waking up. She very defensive. She very moody. Everything bothers the bitch right now because she know that this masculine putting everything fucking together and that he sees everything clearly, okay? And he sees everything clearly about these fake-ass friends, okay? He do, okay? Mm-hmm. Divine Feminine, you could be a workaholic, always working, okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. Hold on. Oh, my ears. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm going to go back to sleep. Oh. Your mask room. He said that he wants you to have empathy for him. He wants you to have empathy for him because he is a fuckaholic. It's hard for him to turn down street cat, okay? It's something about somebody rubbing on his balls, okay? Sucking on his, um, yeah, yeah, okay? Then it's hard for him, you know, to turn down, okay? He said that this karmic, okay, she's an alcoholic. She was willing to do everything that she wasn't willing to do. And this is the reason why he was entertaining this bitch, okay? 
He said he was entertaining that bitch because she whacked the fuck and suck and used drugs and shit. And even though he know it was an unhealthy environment, it just still catered to his addiction, okay? Even though he was over there in that unhealthy ass environment, this master said that he realized that you is the missing piece. He realized that don't nobody else fit with him like you do, okay? And your master said he look, he sees a new point of view. Your master can fly a lot. He could be one to fly, okay? Yep. Mm-hmm. Your master could be needing therapy, okay? Or does Carmen need therapy? It ain't nothing wrong with therapy, okay? Ther- therapy will change your life. Okay, when you're able to go sit down and talk to somebody about everything that has ever happened and not feel judged about it, you know what I mean? Just to be able to cry it out, scream it out, whatever it's going to take to let it go. Thank God for therapists and the jobs that they do because it's a wonderful thing to go to therapy. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, okay? Yes, 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 this stanky ass bitch was sitting up here doing money spells, okay, on your money. This bitch is so weak that she feels as though she got to compete with you to do money spells on you in order for you not to have stability, for you not to want to deal with your masculine. She's just a weird, weak sauce ass bitch, okay, to feel as though you need to fuck with somebody's finances, okay. Everybody got kids. Everybody got responsibilities. I think that shit is super whack when you got to go, you know, to spell work. Like, that shit is sickening, okay? Sickening, okay? And then the bitch is mad, okay, because the masculine desires you, okay? This bitch been sitting up here trying to fuck with you, come up against you since Halloween, okay? Mm-hmm. Or she been sitting up here gossiping, okay, with your masculine, okay. Her family and her could have been gossiping, okay, or her, her family could have been sitting up here. Her family, your family, anybody family, but somebody family or all of them done grouped up to talk about you, okay. This bitch been sitting up here spreading, okay, that you sat up here and have a STD, okay. She could have been gossiping and talking about this shit ever since Halloween, okay. She could have been talking about this shit, okay? Trying to clock your mouths on your coochie like she know who the fuck you fucking, okay? A lot of us are celibate, okay? A lot of us get tested on a regular basis, okay? Our coochie is right, okay? And tight, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with our cooch, okay? But yet this bitch wanted to sit up here and run with a narrative, okay? Just like hating ass, weak sauce ass bitches do. They got to go stir the pot. Because when the truth won't do what they try to do, pull a lie out they ass, right? And it looked like they went gossiping, okay? Trying to make you look bad to his family, your family, whoever, okay? And whoever's been doing this shit is whoever this masculine got a kid with. This bitch had a lot to say about you, okay? Don't even know you over this man that she can't keep his attention, okay? Mad at you because she done done everything that she could do to keep this man's attention. And ain't nothing working, okay? He still won't you, okay? And she can't accept that. She can't accept the clarity of knowing the truth, okay? Because the truth hurts, okay? And she got the clarity that he is still in love with you. She got the clarity. Okay? And she over there upset, pissed off, pouting. Okay? She is. She could even be sitting up here, trying to sit up here and find different ways, okay? For your masculine to get arrested. She could have, she could have finna call the police on the masculine. Okay? You might have to call the police on the masculine. Somebody finna get hired for a brand new job, okay, around Christmas, okay? Somebody finna get hired, okay? Hmm. Ain't you supposed to meet Nunu around Christmas when it's cold? This might be how you finna meet him, okay? He might set up here and took a new job in your area, okay? You never know. You know God works in the supernatural, okay? Well, all I know is that he, you gonna quench his thirst, okay? 
you could be drinking a lot of water, okay? But this karmic, like I said, she was down to start a lot of rumors concerning you. She was. He says, trying to figure out a way to get you back. Yeah, this man's going to say he fell for the dumbass fucking rumors that this bitch was spreading, okay? And now he realized that he should have never listened to this monkey mouth ass bitch, okay? And he's trying to figure out on how he can get you back, okay? Mm-hmm. Yep, your masculine could even want to write a song or music could really be sitting up here hitting home for him right now. Or he could finish telepathically sending you a song, okay? But what he do want you to sit up here and know is that he is in super regret really realizing that he made a bad mistake when he sat up here and chose up on you, okay? And look like he want to sit up here and bring you an offer. Want to sit up here and bring something in hand towards you. Okay. But this masculine know that you see him as a trickster. You don't trust his ass. Okay. You don't trust his ass. All I can tell you is that this nut so ass karmic. This bitch that lived with him. Got a kid with him. This bitch is losing her top. Okay. This bitch is pissed off to the max. She had her boiling point because he still got feelings for you, okay? She is, okay? And look like she could even be sitting up here trying to start um, bullshit between him and his friends, okay? Or your masculine friend to go confront some people about some shit that they said about you and realizing that it was all a lie, okay? It looked like... Is something that this karmic then said, something that this karmic then did, okay, that she finna make some type of situation happen, okay? This karmic went over and above to lie on you to make you look some type of way. And then when people come with a fact sheet about the shit that her ass has said and did, this bitch don't want to own up to the truth, okay? This bitch like to just play the victim, before she sit up and say that she was wrong, okay? But whoever this karmic is, she betrayed you in the worstest way. She betrayed you in the worstest way behind your back, okay? This masculine and his brothers, this masculine who he called brothers, could have participated in something against you. This could be why they finna go to jail. Both of these brothers could be finna go to jail, okay? Like some type of jail time, okay? Like some brothers is going to go to jail in some type of way. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh -huh. God said he finna restore Harmony. Might have a child named Harmony. Somebody could be pregnant thinking about naming their baby Harmony. Okay, but your masculine is in solitude. Thinking about everything. Taking it apart. Putting it back together. Okay. And what he is realizing that it's a lot of skeletons coming out about this karmic, okay? A lot of skeletons coming out about her, okay? And what she did and who she got pregnant by, okay? Some shit finna hit the fan, okay? And this karmic don't want it to happen. A lot of skeletons finna come out, okay? Okay? Mm-hmm. This karmic wanna argue. She want to get into an arguing match with you over this man, okay? She do. Every time this Carmen think and look at herself in the mirror and think about the things that you have, she study trying to compare, study trying to compete with you, okay? And she will never, ever be you, okay? Hmm. What Nikki say? Nikki say, you are Nokia, and she the iPhone. Divine for me, you the iPhone. She the old Nokia. She the Obama phone, okay? That's what the fuck her ass is, okay? Bitch, study trying to sit up here and see where she went wrong at. Those is two different cars. They run different, look different, everything about them different. Yet this bitch is mad about it. And every time she get mad that she can't, Level up, she want to argue and fight with you, okay? And she mad that that baby that she been trying to use to hold on to this masculine, it looked like that baby could even be his brother's baby, okay? 
or it could be somebody that he called brother, okay? But it looked like this masculine was betrayed, okay? By his own brother or somebody close to him that he consider a brother, okay? This karmic study doing love spells to keep the masculine tied to her. She could have red, brown, burgundy hair right now, okay? Or these could be the colors that she has worn recently, okay? This karmic got a big issue with you, divine feminine, okay? Because you love you, love the skin end that you're in okay yeah your masculine is mad at himself he mad at himself because he gave his power away okay to this side chick this thought pocket okay and he pissed off about it as he should be it looked like he could have committed to this bitch and gave his power away to this side bitch and can't get loose okay can't get a loose and the reason why he did that is because they was high drunk turned up on drugs okay partying and shit and he wasn't in the right mind he could even went to vegas and got married he went somewhere quick and got married it wasn't like and you know what i mean it was something quick and, and when he came to his senses he he couldn't change it okay this karmic is so mad. She's so fucking pissed off, okay? Because she can't stand you, Divine Femme. She did all that wicked ass shit to get that man. They still both unhappy, okay? We could be talking about a Capricorn, okay? She could have Capricorn in her chart. There's something significant about a Capricorn, okay? Something about somebody toxic ass family. Pay attention to a Capricorn, okay? Mm-hmm. You might have to stop people pleasing, okay, a Capricorn, okay? Tolerating abuse, okay, just to be loved by this Capricorn, okay? Yeah, it says hanging on to dysfunctional ass situations, okay? Yes, Divine Family, you're done holding on to toxic ass situations that don't ain't no good for you. It says moving on and focused on me. Divine Feminine is moving on and she focused on her. Amen. Amen. Okay, because this childish ass bitch is study sitting up here trying to find different ways, okay, to make this masculine, okay, stay around and look like she using that baby right now, okay? Real childish. She act younger than the daughter. The daughter act more older than her and the daughter only two, okay? Two, three, four, no more than eight, okay? All I know is that your masculine wants your forgiveness. He wants your forgiveness. He do. He wants your forgiveness. He can't get over you, and he don't want to get over you. He regrets sitting up here taking the risk, dealing with this bitch over you, okay? He said that all this karmic like to do is be very shallow, like to show off, and like to act like she better than others, okay? Divine Masculine said it was an upgrade when he was dealing with you, Divine Feminine. It was an upgrade. Or your masculine did something to upgrade, okay? And it looked like um, he gonna need some bail money. Somebody gonna need some bail money, okay? Whatever home, okay, that is being done magic and different shit, it looked like it's collapsing. The karmic could be in the hunted house, okay? Over there going through the motions, okay? And that house is cursed okay and all type of shit okay i don't know what this karmic was doing but she done opened up some type of portal that she couldn't close back okay and it looked like god is taking action god finna shut it all down whoever this karmic is okay this masculine you look like he could be tired of having an open relationship it looked like he could feel dirty after having an open relationship but guess what divine feminine you gonna be able to celebrate Great things is coming in your life, okay? Blessings, abundance, okay? Everything that you've been praying for. And what's meant to be will always be, okay? There's no reason for you to be sitting up here walking around with a misunderstanding, feeling as though you got to sit up here and hold on to your masculine if he's full of bullshit, okay? You ain't got no love to give, okay? Because... 
He gave no love for you to receive, okay? Yep. You feel as though it's a quiet taste, okay? Hold on. Look like you're going to have a quiet taste. This man might like to smoke cigars, blunts, okay? Like to drink wine, champagne, cognac. Okay, but look like whoever this man is, he finna bring you unconditional love, okay? Whoever God finna have you cross paths with is a good man. He been praying, looking for a good woman, and he's been manifesting a, a good woman to come, and God finna let it happen. It looks like God approves of this man crossing your path, okay? Really, though, God said, remember, I promised you that I would sit up here and bless you with your heart's desire, okay, God said, get ready to receive, okay, and whoever this man is, Mr. New New, aka Hero, okay, y'all finna cross paths, okay, yes, yes, this person might even give you a job, or you might be him on the job, okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, girl, Okay, and finna have your back. Okay, like what? Okay. But um, slow it down. Take it nice and slow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, y'all. We gonna leave it right there. I will be back with another reading. When I, I'm going back to sleep. I did two readings. I got stuff I got to do tomorrow, too, okay? But I will be back on here, okay, later on today. But, um, yeah, thank you for checking out the readings. But I'm going to go lay it out, okay? Get a little nappy nap in before I got to go to work, okay? But I love you, love you. Talk to y'all in a minute. Bye.